Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. The latest on a winger. We know that Arsenal are seriously looking for a winger since the start of the transfer window. The likes of Rafinha, the likes of Asensio, they've all been mentioned as potential cover covers for us. So right now we only have Bukai Saka on the right side. We do have Marquinhos, but he's not yet played a game for us. And if Saka gets suspended or gets injured, do you really um can you really put all your your, your energy on Marquinhos and depend on him to help us in the Premier League. I think he's still a bit young for that and inexperienced for that, unless he obviously starts playing a bit of um, football here and there, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So according to reports, um, Fabrizio Romano has told us to keep an eye on this guy. Most of you have not heard about him, and just like me, I have never heard about him at all. Um, he says, um, by, by the way, his name, we are going to have to learn how to pronounce his name. Um, Mikhailo Modric, I think. Everton had a 30 million a Euro verbal proposal turned down by Shakhtar Donetsk last week. Arsenal have explored conditions of the Modric deal a few days ago, but just on player side. Many, many clubs want him want to watch until the end. So I'm hearing that Arsenal have inquired about uh, Modric, the Shakhtar Donetsk winger. It's only 21 years of age, but uh, I usually don't have any problems with that. This this um, last couple of transfer windows we are trying to build around um, a very young team and uh, getting these young players in. It's kind of actually helping us. The team spirit is... Um, amazing we are not really um putting anyone on a pedestal no one is better than anyone everyone is just on the same level for us we treat Saka the same as we treat Odegaard as we treat Martinelli I think that kind of also helps the team out so in terms of Modric he is from Ukraine so Zinchenko might have might help us in terms of getting him through the door and the money is a bit of um, a crazy thing because uh, the only reason why we might not get Neto is because of the money Wolves want 50 million for Pedro Neto so the only reason we might not get him is because of the money they're asking for but since Shakhtar Donetsk have turned down 30 million euros for this guy, that means we have to pay more than that. So we are looking at 35 million euros, which is a which is a lot of money. I mean, we don't. I know what some of you will say. Why are we going for this guy? We don't even know him. We don't have to know a player for them to come to Arsenal. Uh, may, many of our Arsenal fans believe that Trump's a little scrap. He's he's been great for us. Many of us did not know um, how Tomiyasu played. We didn't know, even know Tomiyasu before he joined Arsenal. So we don't necessarily have to sign a player that uh, we know before. As long as the scouting has been magnificent, as long as um these players have been scouted greatly and we know what they can add to the team. I mean, players like N'Golo Conte and players like um, Patrick Vier and all these guys, all of them, no, not many people knew about them before they joined the Premier League and the Premier League team. So you don't necessarily have to know them. So he plays on the right wing. I, I mean, if he joins us, he obviously will be cover for Bukayo Saka on that right side. We definitely need someone. I was looking at... Um, the left side. If Martinelli is not there, we can play Fabio Vieira. We can play um, Smith Rowe. If Odegaard is in there, we can play Fabio Vieira or Smith Rowe as well in the number ten position. If Jesus is in there, we can play Nketiah. But if Saka is in there, we are going to have to play either Jesus on that right side. That is not his best position. But according to the Brazilian manager, that is actually Jesus's best position. We can also play Fabio Vieira there. I know, but it's not really um, their best position. So we need an actual winger to come play on that side. And this guy has been linked to us. Um, today, Fabrizio Roman has told us to keep an eye out for him. So I definitely think you're going to get a winger, especially after getting rid of Nicolas Pepe. We were told the moment Pepe leaves Arsenal, Arsenal are going to be going for a replacement um, winger. So it could be any, and it's really hard to predict right now. We might end up getting Asensio from Real Madrid. We might end up getting, um, obviously, Modric from uh, Shakhtar Donetsk. We might end up signing Pedro Neto. We might even get someone on loan for one year. You never know. But that is one to keep an eye out for. His name, Mikhailo uh, Modric. Uh, you can get his highlights on, um, obviously, YouTube. Uh, a few clips here and there. There's not too, may too much information on him. But let's see what happens with that one, one to keep an eye out for. Thank you for watching and catch up with you on the next one.